Hello, I'm Tom and Homi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the integration between Dell EMC AppSync, PowerStore, and Microsoft MS SQL. Dell EMC AppSync simplifies, orchestrates, and automates the process of generating and consuming application consistent copies of production data. On the screen, you can see my AppSync appliance which is connected to my PowerStore 9000T storage array. In addition, I installed the AppSync plugin on my virtual MS SQL server and added it to AppSync as an application host. This VM resides on a VMFS6 data store which resides on my PowerStore array. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to backup and restore my 2TB database called critical underscore data using AppSync and its integration with PowerStore snapshots. Policy-driven service plans in AppSync give clear visibility into SLA requirements and resource utilization, thereby eliminating the friction between the application and the infrastructure owners. I'm navigating to the service plan tab and creating a new service plan called PowerStore MS SQL Local. I'm setting the copy location to local, which creates local protection snapshots at the storage array level. Next, I'm setting the SQL Server Backup type to full and proceeding with the default values. Here, I'm setting the scheduler. I can choose between multiple options, such as running it every day, on selected days, or at certain interval of minutes. I'm setting it to create a snapshot every 30 minutes and leaving the RPO with the default value, which is 24 hours. I'm clicking next to review the settings and then finish to complete the service plan creation. Now that I have my newly created service plan, I can attach it to my MSSQL instance in order to provide protection for my MSSQL databases, which reside on my PowerStore array. I'm clicking on Copies, Microsoft SQL Server, and here I can see my SQL Server that I registered in advance and its details. Next, I'm running Instance Discovery to list the databases on this server. I'm selecting my database, Critical Data, and subscribing it to the service plan I just created, PowerStore MSSQL Local. This process will take a few seconds to complete. During the process, AppSync is scanning and discovering the application storage and creating the first local protection copy of my database. By navigating to the PowerStore web UI and clicking on my volume, we can see that a new snapshot has been created by AppSync. More and more snapshots will be created on this volume based on the frequency we set for this service plan. I'm going back to my Copies tab and clicking on Instance. We can see that my database is now protected by AppSync and PowerStore snapshots. Now we can finally proceed to the database restore process. I'm selecting my database and clicking on the available copies. Next, I'm selecting the copy I want to restore from. In this tab, I have various options to choose from. In my case, I would like to mount the copy on the same SQL server with read-write access. I'm clicking next to review the details and finish to start the task. By navigating to the parser UI, we can see that a new writable copy has been created from the volume and mapped to my ES6A hosts. From AppSync, we can see that the process completed successfully. If I go to the vSphere UI, we can see that AppSync is mapping the read-write snapshot to the ES6A host in the cluster as an additional snapshot data store. Then it's adding the VMDK file hard disk tree, which contains my database as an additional virtual disk 
to my MSSQL server. I'm opening a console to my MSSQL server and navigating to the AppSync mounts folder. As you can see, I can find here a copy of my database and all I need to do is copying to the original location and attaching it to my MSSQL instance. Once done, I can go back to AppSync and click on unmount this copy. During this process, AppSync will disconnect the drive from the Windows VM as well as the ESXi host and then remove the writable copy from PowerStore. I hope you will find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.